Hi everyone, uh, my name is Nathan with Van Prevere. Uh, we're going to do a tour of a new van that we just got. It's a 2022 Vanwerk Switchback 4D. Let's take a look. Sorry about the sun, it's a little bright out here, uh, but we'll get underneath the awning and get a little bit better view. Uh, but I just want to do a quick walk around. Uh, this van is a 2022 4x4. Uh, with the V6 turbo 3 liter diesel. It's the last year of the 4x4, so heavily sought after. Uh, great for, for any reason, you have to do resell the vehicle. Hopefully you don't, and you enjoy it for many years. But let's do a quick walkthrough here. Got a little plane going by. Um, as you can see, the 4x4 sits higher than the two-wheel drive Sprinter. Uh, if you wanted to, you can definitely lift this van. There's some great lifts with Van Compass, King, uh, agile off-road uh, let's keep going around looking at all the features here as I mentioned this is a switchback you have here you have these side steps that go from the passenger all the way to the slider uh, this here is going to be your exhaust uh, for your diesel heater you have a fixed window on the slider you have a bunk window uh, for your sleeping platform in the back. Another shot of the tires, blacked out rims. Look to be the stock stock tires, but you can also put uh, off-road tires. I've got Toyos on mine. A lot of people go BF Goodrich KO2s. A nice feature, you have the rear wipers. Uh, tow hitch. Rear step. There you can see 2500 4x4 Switchback 4D by Vanworks. Sorry if the sun and glare makes it a little dark here. Um, you got another bunk bed, window. It's a really nice feature of the CR Lawrence. This will open up so you get a lot of ventilation. Uh, this is ventilation, I believe, for the uh, kitchen galley area for electronics and or water. Uh, down here, it's your sewer out. There are no water tanks on the exterior, so it's pretty uh, four season friendly. Here you have additional uh, ZAMP solar uh, connector for external solar. You've got a 30 amp uh, shore power. Uh, this is for everyone. Hey, it's diesel, diesel fuel only. Uh, you have another sidestep here and then let's go around the front hold tight here come back another view we're just doing this video out at our lot right now so not the we usually go out on the beach but the sun down the beach was brutal but let's step in to the van uh, one of the things that I will tell you right off the bat is, see the sticker? That means that this is RVIA certified. It means that this van is up to the RVIA uh, certification and standards for building a van. Um, I love supporting the local builders, but it is also very nice when you see the van certified by RVIA. You just know that they have a set of guidelines that they're following which is really nice. Um, the first thing when you walk in, I'll back out, is you have this hunk of leather. What is that? That is the Friedman flip-up seat. So right now it is flipped up. I will do a how-to on how it goes down, but I'll need an extra hand for that, so I'll set up the tripod. Uh, the one thing that I've been looking at these forever, and the one thing you'll notice with this one, it has a Fenton Patent pending plate, crash test approved. I think that's huge for everyone that's thinking about putting the seat in. A lot of people will just throw it in, put a plate down below, but it doesn't mean that it is crash tested and approved. So just one of those things to, to keep in mind when you're looking to add uh, seats, you always just wanna make sure they're safe for everyone, especially if you have kids, even though every everyone matters. Hi everyone, uh, as I mentioned, I wanted to show you how to put down this Friedman uh, flip up and flip down seat. Uh, it seats too, it has the uh, little hooks for the baby seat. 
So the first thing you're going to do is there's a little lever down here, a little safety lever, and then this locks into place right here. And then you pull from here. You can do it one handed once everything is unhooked and it goes down. So this is in the down position. Then you have another lever here to flip it up. It flips up. There you go. Everything's, everything's in there, secure. Um, like I mentioned, you've got two seat belts, little baby seat hooks are in here as well. Super nice upgraded leather. It's not like a, like a, these are out of, I mean, they have come from the bus industry. Uh, these are not your flat bus, airport, shuttle uh, seats. So they're upgraded, they got cushion. Whoever's gonna be sitting them is gonna be comfortable. Um, so let me show you how to put it back up. This is only like my second time putting it um, up and down, so bear with me here. Uh, but we're gonna go back to this lever here. It's gonna flip down. Here it goes down. And then there's a lever, another red lever here, which we're going to push down a little bit, put release, and then we're back up. Lever's in the way. There we go. So what happened there is that little red lever that's a safety for when it's up uh, was just in the way, so I just uh, moved it out of the way so we can come all the way up. So there you go. Put this here. Now secure. That's locked in there, and we're all set. So it's ready to travel. Um, really nice seat. Um, I have a different setup in mind. I was initially going to go with this, but like I mentioned, the plate is what does it for me now. So if you have any, um, let's get back to the tour and we'll take a look at some other items on the van. Thank you. Um, but let's take a look at this galley. So when you first step in, go back, you have the step up, um, we'll put on the lights. So. This is a nice feature that you can put on the lights. This is for exterior and interior. Uh, let's do the exterior. See that light just turned on there. Let's put on the interior. So you've got six lights on the roof. It's a really nice clean bamboo roof. Uh, you got two max air fans. We'll step up. So the galley, pretty simple, uh, which is nice. It's nice to not get super complicated. You've got a fridge here, Novacool, 12 volt DC fridge, more than enough for a couple days. Uh, underneath here, this is where your gray tank sits. Some electrical water pump if you ever have an issue. It's right there, which is easy to replace. Up here, induction cooktop, single burner, which is great, these things. I mean, you can boil water in just a few minutes. Uh, sink, little cutting board, which is nice. Very deep, enough room to do all your dishes. And then up here, more storage. Oh, we got a coffee maker in here. Lock that up. Another coffee maker. Um, the one thing I will, another thing, you know, we're talking about the seating, we're talking about the plate, making sure it's safe is these cabinets, I like these cabinets a lot. Um, they might look like wood, but they're not. They're metal. So they're solid. I think people have to realize like, hey, in the unfortunate situation that you do get in a car crash, do you want, I mean, wood is not bad, um, but do you want that splinter that could potentially cause issues? So hate to be cryptic, but just something to think about. I've got some experience as an insurance broker and it's just one of the things you think about. Uh, up here, this is, light comes in, got a shelf, this is for storage, this is your blackout shades. Uh, this is a curtain that hangs on this rod, so you get complete blackout. It's actually great uh, for when you are out in the mountains and it's cold. You don't have to heat this section up here, unless you want to utilize this for kids where you can put like a little, they have those great little um, blow up mattresses for the front. Uh, let's take a look at the features. This thing's fully loaded. Adaptive cruise control, all your controls for 
your uh, cell phone, you've got power mirrors, power windows, power door locks. This is the 10 inch screen. You got 360 camera. You can see me there. So it's fully loaded. Uh, let's step back and take a look at the back end here. So the first thing you notice is this huge, massive platform. I'm six foot three and I fit comfortably. My feet don't dangle. Uh, you've got your max fair, max air fan controls. You've got your heater controls. You've got safety alert. Everyone should have a carbon monoxide propane gas alarm. And you've got your uh, smoke detector. These are just really solid. Get in and out easily. Uh, open cabinets. Hang up some, some clothes there. In the back you've got a light on each side if you're if you want to read at night and then we saw them on the outside but you've got your bunk beds or your bunk bed windows bunk windows so that ha those are screened and then this window here is screened as well so we want to get, get the bugs in uh, let's look down here so you can seat four and you can sleep four again I'm six foot three I fit very comfortably here this the bed above you Right here is is super solid. You've got anchor points throughout the van, so there's no concern about sleeping under here. If kids are jumping up there, it's not going to collapse. I know some people might think that, but it's it's not going to be a problem. Um, you also have some more lights underneath. Touch. You've got some controls here, and then let's lift this up here. So this van. Uh, which makes it pretty simple. Put this down. Take a look. It's, it's controlled by a Goal Zero 3000X lithium. This has your inverter, your solar charger, your DC to DC charging, your 12 volt. All your components hook up to this. Uh, you can take it out if you needed to. If it's super cold or you had a little barbecue, you're like, oh, let's bring some power. The solar connects right there. It's 100 watt on top. Uh, if this is some AC connections uh, for your outlets. You've got outlets here, and you have outlet over here. Kitchen, you've got another outlet here. So more than enough power. Um, but the Goal Zero, it's really nice. Um, I like them a lot. There's less updating. There's less one component goes out, then you have the whole thing. Um, I mean, I love Victron, but there's just a lot of tuning that you have to do, and then sometimes diagnosing is pretty difficult too. But so you've got the Goal Zero there. We've got a little pack there. Um, let's go to. Oh, let's take a look at the water tank. It's over the fender. That's your fresh water. We'll go take a look at the fresh water fill in the back. So let's go back here. Step down. So let's open up the back. So as I mentioned, you got a shower connection. Well, you have your fresh water connection here, per the sticker. And then you've got this connection here, which is for the outdoor shower. This van does not have hot water, but uh, we just saw, you can buy a um, from one of our vendors for a couple, like two grand. Uh, hot water heater back. It's pretty easily to pretty easily install in this van, but here you got all your connections You can winterize it looks like you got uh, you can put some air in there on that valve blow out the air in the winter Everything's strapped down everything's safe. It's great. Uh, nice thing is Bamboo with holes so you get great ventilation some people worry about that Oops, sorry about that. That is my cell phone going off uh, then on the right side here, you have this very large uh, cabinet, and then let's open it up. And the most important thing in these vans, storage. So you got a bunch of storage uh, for everything from, I don't know, toys, chairs, canopy. It's great. Uh, the other nice thing is you can see the L-Track on the floor there. You've got L track here, so you can put some bikes in here, keep everything secure, won't be a problem. I'll kind of step up here and see if we get another shot from the back. So, this is the other nice thing is this is a very, very thick uh, mattress pad. 
you will not be uncomfortable. Uh, and then you got your lights here. That's controlled by a little switch. There you go. So let's go back in the front. I'll show you. Oh, that was a bigger step than I thought. I'm gonna close these behind. So like I mentioned, I'll show you the uh, process with the Friedman seat. Um, one thing to no note too is these two seats have the factory swivel, swivel uh, which is great. Um, I prefer the factory swivel over the aftermarket. They're just a lot smoother. If you have any problems with the aftermarket ones, they just seem a little smoother and, and I like them a, lot, a little bit more. Uh, so there you have it. This is a 2022 Van Wert Switchback 4D. Uh, it only has, I'll put it in the notes, but I think like 2,600 miles on it. It's a 4x4 V6 3 liter turbo, and it's the last year of the 4x4 on demand. Here you go. That's the switch for the 4x4. I have a 2020. Uh, the 4x4 is super simple to use. It's got me out some trouble, which is nice. But if you have any questions, uh, go to our website at vanpurveyor.com. Uh, we'll have this up on the market. And uh, if you have any questions, reach out to me. Thank you.